Hi everyone and welcome back to day 14 of my 90 day challenge. I can't believe it has been two weeks and we're about to start the third week tomorrow. That is absolutely outstanding. I couldn't be happier. So I'm just about to make myself a cup of coffee and yeah, get my day started. I have to share these um, beautiful flowers with you. Talk about off topic and random, but I just came to sit down to do my video and the smell of these lilies is just unbelievable. I went by yesterday to visit my friend Laura and she she's the one that has such a beautiful garden and she picked these just as we were talking and just arranged them for me. Isn't that beautiful? So yeah, I just thought I'd share them with you and I hope you can smell them. They're all waft the scent towards you so you can enjoy them too. They're very, very pretty. I would have to say for me, my challenges have been comments that are very well-meaning but are perceived by me as negative. And I say by me because I'm the only person responsible for how I take what someone says. So uh, for ex an example would be, well, Monica, you know, you should be careful. Every time you lose weight, you get really, really sick. Or um, that stuff, that body by by stuff, isn't that good for you. You know, it's full of a whole bunch of stuff. Or maybe you shouldn't be using Splenda. It's not the best for you. And I say to all of those things, thank you very much. I have made it my priority this time to make sure I don't crash and burn because I've mentioned it to you guys so many times because that's what I tend to do. So that com comment is well deserved, but I'm focusing on that and I'm working through that because that's one of my biggest, you know, areas um, besides my butt, whatever. Um, and the other comments about what I'm, well, the Body by Vi shake has been very well researched. It's very healthy. I was dragging my butt at first, but then I started taking the vitamins and I feel really good. Um, the sugar versus Splenda, it's usually people that are quite overweight that always say that, you know, Splenda's not good for you. And I'm like, have you looked in the mirror? Sugar isn't good for you either, okay? Enough said. There's plenty of research on Splenda, which is sucralose. Um, it is okay. Some people can't use sucralose depending on their medications and things like that. But for me, it's fine. And unless I'm eating cups and cups of Splenda a day, which I'm not, then it's perfectly fine. So I always think the lesser of two evils for me, sugar versus Splenda, uh, Splenda all the way. The positives for me are, I just cannot believe that I have not had any cravings for anything at all, especially sandwiches, because I love a good old sandwich for lunchtime. And so to replace, I don't have problems replacing my breakfast with a shake, but replacing your lunch, I thought was gonna be a lot more difficult, but I haven't found it that way at all. And should it come to the day that I really want a sandwich, I will have a sandwich and I will replace my supper with the shake. So I'll have a, a good hearty lunch and then switch it. So um, I think that's the beauty of this plan for me. You notice I say for me a lot because I can only speak for myself. I'm just finding that I'm not having any problems at all. I feel really, really good. I uh, surprised myself when I looked in the mirror last night and I was like, my first initial nanosecond of seeing my vision and I just sort of saw a healthy me looking back at me and I haven't seen that for a while. It was kind of neat. I was like, oh, I totally don't mind what I see. And I don't mean that in a vain way. I just mean like I just seem, I don't know, brighter or healthier. I'm not sure, but that was a positive for me anyway. I've been doing those uh, thrust, you know, um, squats, 
that I was talking about yesterday. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, go look on day 13 video. It was another exercise that Jesse uh, suggested that we can add to our ABC abs. So I've been doing those. And then in the, this morning, it was kind of funny. This might be TMI, but this is where I get a little obsessed about things. So I did probably four sets of five yesterday. So I did 20 of them along with my ABCs. And then um, this morning when I had to get up to do my morning pee, you know, I'm sitting on the toilet and then I go to get stand up and I thought, hey, why don't you work in five thrusts right here? So I went sat pretended to sit back down, didn't sit all the way back down, and stood up, and then sat down, and stood up, and I did five more, like about six in the morning. If anyone had opened the bathroom door, there would have been, what is this crazy woman doing? But hey, I got five in, so whatever. I'm going to be making a vision board today. I'm so excited. I had a lot of other scrapbooky things to get finished, but I'm gonna finish those up, and I'm making a vision board. I found the most amazing quote on Pinterest yesterday. So I'm going to read it to you. I found this quote on Pinterest yesterday and it was just, it almost like slapped me in the face with um, just, you know, when you get an aha moment, especially when I've been talking about no more excuses. And I'm not sure if you can read it, but it says, if it is important to you, you will find a way. If not, you'll find an excuse. So I am going to be putting that quote in the middle of my vision board because it is so speaks to no more excuses. And I just think as a visual reminder, it's going to be a really wonderful tool for me to utilize for the remainder of this challenge. So it's morning. You saw me having my coffee. I'm about to have my shake, my morning shake. So I'm going to do my usual shake, snack, shake. Sounds like a dance. Shake, snack, shake, snack, supper. And uh, I don't um, dumb down my, dummy down my suppers. I will eat what's for supper. But what I make a point of doing is if there's a lot of starch, like when we had spaghetti the other night, uh, if you sort of take your plate like a pie plate, one quarter of the plate will be the starch or like the main entree. So the spaghetti and the sauce is one quarter of the plate. The other quarter of the plate will be cooked vegetables and then the other half of the plate will be salad. So vegetables are so filling, you get so full you could, and I always start with my salad first, then my vegetables, and by the time I get to the meat portion, I am so full that I can hardly finish it. And it's funny, you think that's gonna be so difficult to do, it's not. And I'm not a bread eater at supper time, so I, I don't miss that at all. And I usually drink water. So, um, and then I will have a snack afterwards, like after supper. Some people say don't eat after six or so, but sometimes we eat our supper later. If I have doula clients coming, then we'll eat our supper later. But I always have a snack, um, watching TV in the evening time. So it'll either be a sugar-free popsicle or a sugar-free ice cream bar or um, yogurt with grapes in it. Or if I'm really craving carbs, I will take those new Special K granola and have my yogurt and grapes and then put that on top like a crumble. Number so good so so good and you feel like you're cheating and you're not and that's what's so great it can still food can still taste good and you can still be getting healthier today is progress report so i got on the scale this morning and when i looked down and i saw that i had lost one pound i literally shouted woohoo for me all by myself in my house yeah, we've already just established that I'm a little nuts. But I was so happy with that one pound. We were away for three days. I um, started exercising. I can feel my body toning up. When I laugh, my abs hurt. That's a really cool feeling. So to have one pound loss, I will take every single ounce of that pound and I will be 
prouder than ever. So I'm five pounds down in two weeks, which I am so happy about. I was watching a, I've uh, been surfing the internet at, or surfing YouTube, looking around for other 90 day challenge people. And I came across this one girl because it was her day 90. And she goes, she's so, I'm so happy. I've reached my goal. I've lost 10 pounds in 90 days. And I'm thinking, ooh, 10 pounds in 90 days. Okay. As soon as I thought that, it was like she heard me and she responded, I know some of you think 10 pounds is not that great of a weight loss, but I have lupus, I take steroid medication, and I have a thyroid problem. And I'm like, oh my God, that is like me to the T. So the fact that I've lost five pounds in two weeks, I am just so happy. Oh, I can't even tell you. I'm really, really pleased with that. You know what's so funny? I find this question or segment to focus on every day the hardest one. And you'd think that wouldn't be. But for me it is. I'm like, did I actually honor my body? But actually I did. What I've done to honor my body, uh, and this was another suggestion from Jesse, resetting my clock so that I am forcing myself to go to bed earlier and getting up earlier and having a more productive day. And uh, I'm finding that by going for a walk, by doing these exercises, by taking my stairs all the way up without stopping it on the landing and doing that, I'm getting tired. So I used to fall asleep around 11.30 midnight and now my eyes are getting droopy at 9.30, 10, which is awesome because then I go to bed and I get up in the morning and I have the full day because I felt like I was always losing so much of my day. And I was blaming it on my medication, which is making me drowsy and all of that. No more excuses. So we begin week three tomorrow. That is fantastic. 14 days down, 76 more to go. I remember when we said 86 more days. I can't wait to get out of the 80s. And here we are halfway out of the 70s. It's fantastic. I feel so good about it. I still feel so motivated. And that is all thanks to all of you. I appreciate it so much that you are leaving comments and staying tuned and watching me on my journey. And I enjoy hearing about you. And good luck to all of you who are just beginning. Even if you're starting, start in with us any day. It doesn't really matter. I like that we're forming a little group here. And it's kind of fun because we're all having a little peek into each other's lives and getting suggestions from each other. It's just fantastic. I am so happy about the way this is all going. So you guys all have a wonderful day and remember to do something really special to honor your body in, within your power. And I'm going to off to make my vision board. I'm so excited. And we'll see you all tomorrow. Bye.